Hello everyone, welcome to Coffee Cup Enlightenment. Today I'm going to talk about pro-duality consciousness. What if there is such a thing to play with such a concept, not to seriously engage in manifesting and try to bring about pro-duality consciousness, but just play with the concept of it. What if there was a national world, a world day that recognized the divine game that's going on, that saw that consciousness, the one consciousness, comes into the world and believes and mistakes itself to be dual consciousness to be two forgets its oneness what if it were to be where you actually wanted dual consciousness to forget yourself as one consciousness not see the one consciousness in yourself and everyone else which is the essence of true love which is the incapability of projecting the mind's judgments onto another when you sense yourself in another it cannot happen what if you were to want the forgetfulness of yourself to believe in yourself as a concept to want yourself to be a concept what would this do to the concept structures that exist to want illusion is the end of illusion to want to hold on to a conceptual individual identity with the knowing that you are not that but with a deliberate attempt to want to hold on to that makes this conceptual self slip out of your grasp ever more faster what if there was such a thing as a pro dual consciousness day dual consciousness day that celebrated our last days of dual consciousness that knew we're all going to eventually go back to oneness consciousness realization to re the return back to home so why not celebrate and enjoy our delusion our illusion our sense of separateness what if you were to totally embrace and want the delusion which is the forgetfulness of being the one consciousness coming into the world and mistaking itself as a concept there's one simple story to the entire universe God consciousness was God consciousness came into the world and believed itself to be a concept and that's the end of the story and then it remembered itself There's lots of energy in the world and there's nothing wrong with it with anti-duality consciousness let's stop this unconsciousness let's fight against it and let's bring about consciousness and this is okay to do but in the bigger picture when you step back it 
it even needs to be seen. That even there is a slight energy here. That is it itself. Somewhat flavoured with duality consciousness. Doesn't mean we just sit around and do nothing and allow the natural process to exist of confusion of our original nature. What if we all did nothing? Which is the right way to do something or nothing? And neither ways are the right way. It's whether you are aware of the bigger picture and totality of this divine game that which is all that matters when there's awareness of the bigger picture what you do or don't do brings that bigger picture into the world into realization even non-doing can be as effective as doing even doing can be non-effective as non-doing and even non-doing can be non-effective as doing there is no right way or wrong way again it's about are you aware of the bigger picture of what's really going on when you look at another Maybe to take action to help another? Are you treating them as a broken individual that needs to be fixed? Or are you seeing them as unbreakable, as ever perfect, but temporarily forgot, forgotten of who they are? And your assistance flows into that. Even if your intentions are good to create better change, if your intentions are driven with our awareness of the bigger picture, that the other person is just as perfect as you, and there is nothing broken, and there is nothing wrong, then there's no victim and there's no perpetrator in your actions your actions become neutral your actions are purely directed to create positive change and don't bring about and don't bring about any projection of illusion to have an intention to help someone with the eyes that they are broken is only perpetuating illusion. To bring about the to have the intention to help and fix or just help and bring about change with the intention knowing that everyone or whoever you're dealing with already underneath is ever perfect but just has temporarily forgotten their perfectness then out of that realization true change positive change if you were to call it that effective change comes about and this is uh, usually the challenge with um, activism if there's any sort of uh, very heavy strong flavor of perpetratorness within the the flavor of the intention to create change it generally isn't necessarily always the most effective ways of bringing about change 
sometimes it is the case where is, there is a drastic situation sometimes it takes for a bit of drastic measures and you can call it maybe a bit of forceful measures but even here in such drastic forceful measures the true intention can come along and fuel that and be its source there's no there's no victim and there's no perpetrator action is just taken for what's needed and it is neutral whether the people that this action is delivered to are able to see your your true intentions that's another question it's the example of the institution system of the worlds that attempt to correct behavior in the world but in doing so only magnify it year after year no matter what their good intentions are the saying uh, the road to hell is paved with good intentions points to this can you see the perfectness in yourself if you can can you see it in another and what action then arises in that simple state of realization of oneness no one's broken nothing needs to be fixed the underneath part of someone the essence of someone let's deal effectively here and see what spontaneously arises actions that are no longer fueled with an advertisement of illusion a continual recycling of illusion this is effective change and how beautiful if you participate in so-called non-effective change and see the, uh, the opposite effects manifest to then realize allow that to bring you more into realization of the perfection of everyone and seeing the perfection in yourself and others so either way whichever direction you go awareness comes in anyway but this uh, to have awareness about all this just can help accelerate the process a little bit thank you